Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. So today we've got something a little bit different. The stats page for the official stats page for League of Legends has actually launched finally in your client. So if you load up your client right now, if you head to your profile page, there's going to be a new tab here that is called stats. And this is going to be probably the best way that you could actually help to improve like yourself. Like if you look after over your games and stuff, then you'll actually be able to get better because it tells you specifically what you are lacking right now. So when you click through to this page, we're going to run through it by the way today, just to a quick explain we'll run through it i'll explain it i'll show you some stuff as well that i think is really cool uh, about this but also some stuff that i think will be best practices or i guess ways that you could um kind of improve from this and the things that you should really focus on so this is the uh the landing page that you're going to go to to start with obviously i'm an ad carry main so i've got a 54 percent win rate apparently uh in the bot lane at the moment some other random champions that i've been playing bot lane that i haven't played enough of yet to actually uh to, to go through on and then obviously my support <laughs> and my jungle <laughs> my mid lane's okay at least my uh, Zerath pocket pick which is good but as you can see I am an AD carry through and through and you can have actually different options here so it says that I played for uh 63 hours of uh, of League of Legends so far in this season. I actually haven't played too much on this account because I've got two. I have a stream account and I have this one that I play with off stream as well. Um, so you can actually change this though. You can go to different things, but I don't play normal uh, really on this account. So you can't really do that. It could get, uh, since mid season. This has only been tracking since 8.12 by the way. So if you wanted anything else, then that's going to be unlucky, but it will reset when you go into season nine. So season nine will be like a full season of this. And obviously it feels by most play and everything else as well. But the really cool part is if you click on these champions so if i click on kaiser for example this is my kaiser in the last uh however well, this is the last 10 games right 70 percent win rate on kaiser in my last one the uh kaiser 30 day kaiser challenge coming in big time there boys uh, if i go to the last 25 i've actually got 65 percent win rate so this will be a lot easier i guess to kind of understand and then obviously since mid-season 63 percent win rate so i've actually been improving Hell yeah, this is my 30 day challenge where I've been spamming Kaiser nonstop to try and get better. But let's go through some stuff that I think obviously go through mine, what I need to improve on personally, but how you can actually use this to improve yourself at the same time. So this is actually going to be comparing myself right now. There's two numbers. So there's my number versus the uh, average diamond Kaiser player. You can actually go back as well if you wanted to just do this on AD carry. Obviously, my recent 10 games is 7% win rate because all I play is Kaiser at the moment. But it's just in general, you could have since mid-season. Obviously, that's 54% win rate over everything. And you can see over time, I have actually... My KDA has gotten much better. See, my kill participation is actually kind of worse in the past week. But my damage share is, is increasing a little bit. So you can gradually see since mid-season that I have improved as a player because I've been playing a little bit more. I want to look at specifically Kaiser because I think this is a good example of how you can use it to actually get better as uh, on the champion, right? So if you have a look, uh, first of all, in combat so this is kind of like fighting and stuff your kda ratio so my kda is actually much better than uh, the average diamond player and you can change these by the way if you want to so i don't see why you would want to go backwards really um, because you probably don't want to go down in rank but you do want to go up in rank of course right so you would want to go uh, say master tier so the goal for me is eventually i would get to master so if i click on master now all of these are comparing myself with the average stat of a bot lane kaisa master player rather than a diamond one so obviously my kda is actually still good that might not be uh the necessary the best thing to look at because it might just mean i play too safe i don't die enough i don't get uh, enough kills i guess i get too many assists that isn't probably the best stat ever. It's, it's not bad. I'm just going to say it's not the, not the coolest thing ever. Kill participation, though. Um, this is actually quite important because it means how active you are uh, on the map. So, obviously, how stuck in you get with your team. If you have a low kill participation, it often means you're getting carried quite often because you haven't really contributed as much. Not all the time, but just as a general rough idea, uh, kill participation does normally mean... The higher it is, the more active you are in the game. The more stuck in you've got, the more you've actually really carried a game. If it's above, like, I'd say, like, 60% above that, you've really actually done well and carried the game. So mine's roughly around 50%, but I am higher than the average Diamond player. I would actually like them to, to cancel out Diamond 5. Uh, here because i think it's a much different game so diamond might be a little bit not the best to, to stat wise this but still my utility score so if you hover over these by the way it tells you exactly what they are as well so this is obviously the ratio between your kills and assists to teams total uh this one is going to be your crowd control team healing team damage reduction i don't know why that would be that high anyway i'm not exactly sure how an ad carry gets stuck in with that but who knows? Uh, so average damage per death. So the damage you deal to enemy champions for each death that you have in the game. Mine's actually a little bit higher than the average... Uh 
the average diamond player, which again is, is quite a good thing, I think. But my damage share is actually uh, a bit less. So it means that I don't tend to be the one who is hard carrying. I tend to play a little bit safer. It might be because obviously I play Kaiser, which is more of like a late game single target damage champion rather than somebody like an Ezreal. Uh, if I was playing Ezreal, my damage share would be much higher because I'm a poke champion. So obviously I'm, like, I'm on my team. I'm going to be poking all the time. That can be a little bit skewed, but I still think 20% is a bit low. So that's something that I need to improve on. Uh, quite a bit but still my comeback score is like b plus and i think honestly to climb you'd probably need about b uh b to a is probably the level where you can actually still compete and still do a bit better compared to like the other people that you're around one of my weakest areas is actually my gold generation because I do group a little bit too much. So as you can see, like my damage per gold is actually a little bit lower than other diamond players as well. So it's not going to be as good. This is damage to enemy champions for every one gold that you have, right? So in, in theory, like if you have a really high uh, damage to gold ratio, then you might not have uh, that much gold, but you're outputting a lot of damage for that. So you don't have to have the highest damage, highest gold or the most items to actually be participating in the game. This is kind of saying to me that I might be a little bit passive early game. Uh, I might not really be contributing as much. So I need to get stuck into fights. I need to be trying to at least land a few more Ws on Kaiser. Or I need to be, I guess, more, a bit more active in the game. A bit more like fighting a bit more rather than sitting at the very back of the fight. Because I'm not. I'm clearly not putting my weight uh, damage wise. Early gold advantage. So my early gold advantage is actually... Uh, better but only by a tiny bit right so uh, some of these games obviously are going to be really good like i'm 2k ahead here uh, on one game apparently but a lot of the time i'm actually not that far ahead of my lane opponent um if anything sometimes i'm behind but there actually aren't that many games where i'm below there actually are a few but not too many but this is really interesting because this stat to me says how good is your laning it's like i i kind of play quite safe on kaiser and i just scale because i know i'm going to be better in team fights if that makes sense but obviously like that isn't the best thing like i need to improve my laning i know i need to do that especially my early cs advantage as well is going to show that at the same time how many minions and neutral monster kill uh monsters you killed versus your opponent at 15 minutes so this is going to be uh basically i'm down in cs to my opponent pretty much every game but the thing is on kaiser like when i'm against a draven or against a misfortune i'm kind of like 10 to 15 cs below i'm kind of happy with that maybe i should play to win my lane a bit harder i think that's kind of what i'm taking from all of this my cs per minute is quite low honestly uh, obviously like if i have a, a disadvantage here i'm putting it back later into the game but still my early cs needs to be better for sure i'm coming out of lane pretty much behind my ad carry and i think that's a bit of a risk as well when you're trying to climb because if you don't beat your lane opponent then obviously they're going to be strong and so are you i'm kind of relying on the fact that i'm a kaiser obviously i've got a 70 almost a 70 percent win rate on kaiser at the moment so kaiser is quite a good champion to scale into the game you don't have to win your lane phase if I was playing like a misfortune, I would hope that this would be a lot higher. So I'm gonna actually gonna go and check that afterwards. But definitely, I, I know I realized from this that my income is not very good. If I had more gold, I would carry harder. So if you're ever struggling on a nady carry and uh, you want to be climbing a bit harder, then in theory you should try to uh, improve your lane phase right so your income get more items and i think this would be a really important tab for that so map control is this other stuff as well my objective control this is what i said i'm actually quite good at but i sacrificed farm for so i'd hope that my map control is actually quite good and it seems to be decent so this is going to be objective control so basically the ratio of objectives you help to take compared to your team's total objectives so this is how many towers have i participated in um, i'm guessing how many dragons and barons and rift towers and stuff normally i am the one trying to go around and get the towers after my, i get my own one in my lane um so that that is a good part like i i actually think i do move around but i'm actually moving around a little bit too much sometimes where i sacrifice my farm which is pretty obvious vision score per hour so i actually um am pretty bad at warding this game i i put down 3.3 uh, vision score which is absolutely terrible um but like even at the peaks right like up here these are still lower than the average of a diamond daily carry so my vision and uh everything like that buying pink was i'm guessing as well is actually really bad it can it shows you over here like a little overview obviously i want to go through this as well though so Rome dominant score. I've never seen something like this before, but how much you contributed to kills, deaths, and assists in other lanes at 15 minutes. This is um, 1.6, I think, is actually quite high for an AD carry because you shouldn't really be roaming that much before 15. But I've actually been trying a lot more to roam to like jungle, uh, to kind of like dragon fights and like maybe even mid lane fights as well on Kaiser because you can get in there after level six with your ultimate and you can kind of swing around the team fight a little bit. So I have tried a bit more and uh, 
it seems to be paying off. I'm double what the average diamond AD carry is at the moment. So that's something that I should continue to do. If I'm if I'm doing better than other people at that, then I should obviously, I guess, <laughs> stick around and actually carry on doing that. And how killing uh, how killing of enemy champions converts to taking objectives. That's um that's a really weird wordly worded thing, but basically I think that means if you get a kill, do you get something else afterwards? Which uh, eighty five percent is pretty ridiculous. Eighty five percent of every kill that I got, I apparently got an objective in this game. Uh, but this it seems pretty even, right? Uh, it's actually very important though. Honestly, I don't know how good this is compared to other stuff. Obviously, I guess if we look at master tier, for example, like it's actually about average. Um, I guess the challenger ones are going to be even higher there, but. Uh, you should try and get stuff after kills, which is not always going to be possible. And obviously, if you look, just in general as an AD carry player, you can see your average compared to everybody else. But in my opinion, I feel like you should stick to the champions that you play mostly, unless you play literally everything, because otherwise it's not going to be as useful for you, honestly. I really do feel like um, the best way that you can get stuff out of this tool is going to be by picking a champion. So going on here, picking the champion that you really want to improve at and you're thinking like, okay, I, I wish I was better with this champion. I wish I won more with this champion. Click on that champion. So like my Jinx, for example, I actually have a, a decent win rate, I think over, oh, there we go, 25 games, 16 games, 75% win rate, which is pretty good. And then see what I'm doing right with Jinx and what I'm doing wrong, right? So my damage per death, for example, is good. My utility score is pretty good. My damage share is still kind of low though. So it just tells me as an AD carry, I'm going to be a bit passive no matter what champion I play again. I'm not actually trying to dominate the lane phase. I'm actually kind of rough at this. Honestly, I should be getting better during the lane phase uh, with a lot of things with my uh, with my AD. So that stuff is how I think you'd actually improve um, running through it. Hopefully me explaining how I should be getting better and using my stats lets you go in and explain to yourself how you should be getting better as well. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think of this whole thing. I honestly think this whole stat page is pretty insane, honestly, and it's a really good way of showing you how you're going to get better uh, at any champion, I guess, and just general stuff in the game that I don't think you can really find anywhere else. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you did. But for now, I will leave you with the robots.